in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. Dear audience, this is Language and Linguistics Online. I am Dr. Khuram Shahzad from National University of Modern Languages, Islamabad. In this video, I intend to talk about PS rules, phrase structure rules, X bar rules or X bar theory and some of its characteristics. Well, dear students, we have already talked about PS rules, phrase structure rules. So let me summarize some of them. S can consist of NP and VP. NP can consist of determiner, adjective, which is optional, head noun, and post modification, which is not mentioned here. VP can consist of V, NP, and VP, optional. VP can consist of V, NP, and NP. VP can also consist of V, NP, and AP. VP can consist of V and modifying sentence. AP can consist of A, adjective, and VP. PP can consist of P and NP. VP can consist of adverb and VP. Of course, you know that V stands for verb, N stands for noun, A stands for adjective and sometimes adverb, and P stands for preposition. One common property of all these rules is that every phrase has its own head. Remember, without the head, there cannot be any phrase. If there is no head in the noun phrase, so we cannot call it a noun phrase. If there is no head in the verb phrase, we cannot call it a verb phrase. So head is very important and the rest of the elements that we find in the phrase, they are the projection of the head. Projection of the head is also called endocentricity. So it means that Rules like endocentricity and headedness or redundancy, we should know about them. As I have just told you that without head, there cannot be any phrase. So VP can consist of P and NP is wrong because P here stands for phrase and then NP and verb is missing. So if there is no verb, there cannot be any VP. Same is the case, NP can consist of PP and S. If there is no N here, if there is no noun, there cannot be any NP. Remember, the elements of the phrase, they are called projection of the head or endocentricity. Another limit that we can find from the simple PS rules concerns an issue of redundancy. Observe the following. The problem disappeared the accusation, which is a wrong sentence. Asteric mark is there because we need to understand subcategorization rules. So verbs are of different kinds. Some verbs, they are transitive. It means that they require one NP after that. Some verbs are intransitive, which means that they do not require NP after that. And some verbs are ditransitive, which require two NPs, two objects after that. So here, the problem disappeared, the accusation. Disappear is a verb which does not require any object, which does not require any NP. So that is why it is wrong. But the right sentence is the problem disappeared. So it means that disappeared does not require any other NP. So subcategorization rule will be different for this kind of verb. The defendant denied, again the sentence is wrong, because denied is a verb that requires at least one NP after that. So subcategorization rule will be that this verb, it can consist of TV, TV stands for transitive verb. So the defendant denied the accusation. The baby gave the book, again it is wrong. The boy gave the baby the book. So it means that give is a verb which is diatransitive, which requires two objects after that, which requires that there should be two NPs after that. 
the specific pattern of complements is known as sub categorization requirement of each verb so here further uh, uh, verbs are further categorized so further categorization is called sub categorization rule remember in order to license the grammatical sentences we need to have the following three vp rules so these three vp rules they will be talking about sub categorization rules of the verb vp can consist of ip iv VP can consist of TV, which means transitive verb. It requires one NP after that. And VP can consist of DTV, which means diatransitive verb. It means it requires two NPs after that. Taken these all together, we see that a grammar of the type just suggested must redundantly encode the subcategorization information both in the lexical type of each verb dtv and in the ps rule for the type of verb so of course we redundantly encode all these things in our sentences for example singular noun singular verb plural noun plural verb the bird singular devours the worm the birds plural devour the worm so these subcategorization rules in fact already we write and we speak so this is the representation of this rule s can consist of np singular vp singular s can consist of np plural vp plural well dear audience the new concept that i should introduce here is specifier and intermediate phrase in order to understand more about the structures that rules describe we need two more notions intermediate category or phrase and specifier consider the example now every photo of max and sketch by his students appeared in the magazine no photo of max max is the name of a person and sketch by his students appeared in the magazine here remember photo of max or sketch of max or sketch by the students is not a full np why because photo of max requires demands that there should be a photo of max the photo of max or every photo of max or no photo of max so some kind of determiner is required here if determiner is missing and the rest of np you are writing it means that it is an intermediate phrase or intermediate category so we can say that intermediate phrase is bigger than noun but shorter than full np intermediate category is bigger than n head noun but shorter than full np so we cannot say photo of max or sketch by the students that is why it cannot be made the subject of the sentence so here sketch by his students appeared in the magazine is wrong why because sketch requires demands that there should be a sketch the sketch every sketch no sketch some sort of specifier should be there some sort of determiner should be there the expression photo of max and sketch by his students are phrasal elements but not full nps so what are they we call them intermediate phrases notationally represented as n bar we write n and put bar over there n bar so from this n bar it will become easier to understand x bar theory this phrase n bar is thus intuitively bigger than a noun but smaller than a full np so it is between the noun and the full np so it is an intermediate phrase or intermediate category in the sense that it still requires a determiner from the class the every no some and the like the complementary notion that we introduce at this point is specifier this determiner can also be called specifier and short form will be spr which can include the words just mentioned as well as phrases so the enemy is destruction of the city basically here the head noun is destruction destruction of the city is bigger than the head noun destruction
so it is n bar so n bar now it does not have the enemies so when you add the enemies it is a dp determiner phrase because previously i talked about a and the every no single words but here the enemies possessive is there the enemies there is you know uh, the which is the article or determiner and enemies showing possession so two words are there so two words are making a phrase so this is the specifier so this is the determiner phrase so it means that np can consist of determiner phrase and n bar phrase n bar phrase is an intermediate phrase which is bigger than n but smaller than the full np the enemy destroyed the city the same formula can be applied with verb because verb is the head of the whole sentence and after that there will be np which can be a complementary phrase and before that there will be a subject that we can call that it is a specifier as for the possible specifiers of n bar now they are the specifiers of n bar look at a little dog the little dog this little dog that little dog those little dogs my little dog their little dog every little dog his little dog their little dog each little dog either little dog my friends little dog my friends so again one word is not there rather phrase is there dp is there the queen of england's little dog the queen of england's the queen of england's that is a complete phrase so that is called dp determiner phrase and it is part of np the italicized expressions here all function as the specifier of n bar my friends the queen of england's look at the t diagram now np np can consist of dp the determiner phrase and n bar n bar can have n that is destruction of the city pp which is the uh, which are the elements of n so the enemies destruction of the city so further when we talk about x bar theory we should remember that this is you know the abstract idea we are going to talk about instead of vp we can have xp x is a variable x can stand for np x can stand for vp x can stand for pp x can stand for ap so x can be anything so np we remove np and we believe that we can add xp then we can have dp and x bar in x bar we can have n x and pp look at this xp specifier x bar x and complements so in x bar theory we are trying to reduce the length of the t diagram because already t diagram it has become very lengthy so x bar theory was introduced so here xp can be any phrase so we can change xp with np from np or xp we can have specifier and then x bar we can have n bar and from n and complements so here in complements we have got pp the enemies destruction of the city and we can add the enemy specifier destruction x of the city complement so two more rules are there xp can consist of specifier x bar head specifier rule xp can consist of x yp head complement rule remember there will be another rule xp can consist of modifier x bar modifier gives us extra information it will come little away from the np or vp because it is extra information but complements they are the necessary part of the np or vp so they will come with the verb or with the noun look at this now xp specifier x bar x bar modifier so modifier is going there but x and then complements so complements are coming with x remove x we can have v remove x we can have n so complements for example destruction of the city of the city is complement of destruction destroyed the city the city here will be complement and destroyed will be v so this is how we can change 
एन पी इंटू वी पी और अब वी पी इंटू एक्स पी एन पी इंटू एक्स पी सो एक्स बार थ्री कैन बी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड कैन बी यूज हियर द किंग ऑफ रॉक एंड रोल विद ए हैट द किंग ऑफ रॉक एंड रोल ऑफ रॉक एंड रोल इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स दे आर कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स दे आर इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ किंग एंड विद ए हैट इज मोडिफायर सो विद ए हैट कैन नॉट अखर विद किंग सो लुक एट द टी डायग्राम एन पी कैन कंसिस्ट ऑफ डी पी दी एन बार एन बार फ्रॉम एन बार वी कैन हैव एन बार एंड पी पी विद ए हैट एंड एन बार कैन हैव एन किंग एंड ऑफ रॉक एंड रोल सो किंग ऑफ रॉक एंड रोल विल गो विद एन बिकॉज इट इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट हियर एंड विद ए हैट इज मोडिफायर हियर सो कॉम्प्लीमेंट विल गो विद द एन पी और वी पी एंड मोडिफायर विल गो विद एक्स बार और एन बार और वी बार अनदर थिंग टेस्ट दैट वी कैन अप्लाई हियर इज द प्रोनाउन सब्सिट्यूशन टेस्ट विच स्टूडेंट्स वर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट द वन विद लॉन्ग हेयर द वन ऑफ लिंग्विस्टिक्स विद लॉन्ग हेयर द वन विद लॉन्ग हेयर द वन ऑफ लिंग्विस्टिक्स इज रॉन्ग सो वन विच इज ए प्रोनाउन इज रिप्लेसिंग द होल फ्रेज द वन विद लॉन्ग हेयर वी कैन नॉट से द वन ऑफ लिंग्विस्टिक्स विद लॉन्ग हेयर बिकॉज ऑफ लिंग्विस्टिक्स इज पार्ट ऑफ द नाउन इज ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट ओवर देयर इज ए नेसेसरी पार्ट ऑफ द एन पी और वी पी सो रिमेंबर एक्स पी had modifier modifier will come later xp specifier and complement complement will come first dear audience in this class i have talked about some of the ps rules those ps rules have we have already covered then i talked about sub categorization rules so the further categories of the verbs they were talked about then i have talked about x bar theory and how some of the rules they can be converted into the x bar theory later on i talked about head x bar x can consist of head specifier rule head complement rule and head modifier rule thank you very much